Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zonke. And you know what time it is. It's pick time. My weekly NFL picks. As you can see, I don't have my glasses on. No, I don't have contacts. The reason I don't have my glasses on is because I have a ring light behind my phone for supreme lighting. But it's kind of an annoyance when it reflects off my glasses. So we're gonna go uh, glassless and we'll see how it works out. I think it'll work out pretty good though because I'm not completely blind without my glasses. So anyway, you can see I got my Navy jersey on because the Army-Navy game is Saturday. Go Navy, beat Army. That's not my prediction, but I'm hoping it happens. And that's why I've got the uh, Enterprise hat on, although I did not serve on the Enterprise, no, I didn't. But, um, go Navy. So anyway, week 14. Now, last week I was 10 and five, and I had a couple of crushing losses as Seattle managed to somehow lose to the Giants. And the Steelers, the undefeated Steelers, somehow managed to lose to the Washington football team. Return the beer keg. Cancel the dancing girl. So, very depressing. But, that having been said, I picked myself up, dust myself off, we'll start all over again with week 14. So with that 10 and 5 week, I come in 113 and 77 on the year, which is a 595 winning percentage. I'm this close. I'm this close to 60%. So let's keep the train moving in that direction and see how it goes. So we've got the uh, first game of the week, and that is... The Patriots at the Rams. And in this one, I'm gonna go with the Rams. I know that the Patriots had a very, very impressive win last week, but I'm not thinking that that's real. That wasn't the real Patriots, and it wasn't the real whoever it was that they played that they steamrolled. Next one you got is the Vikings and the Buccaneers. The Vikings at the Buccaneers. Now, if you remember, I said I hate picking the Vikings. I really even hate picking their games, one way or the other. But this week, it's easy. Yeah, get the Vikings out of here. We're going to go with the Buccaneers in this game. I'm pretty confident. I'm not going to say that that's my lock of the week or anything, but I'm pretty confident. Next one you got is... Cardinals at the Giants. Now, the Car the Giants, I should say, are playing quite well. Lately, they have been very good. I think they started off something like 0-5, and, and now they're 5-7. Um, and seven. Are they? Is, it, is that what they are, 5-7? and seven? But anyway, they're playing a lot better football than they did at the very start of the year. Um... But that having been said, I think I'm still going to have to go with the Cardinals on this one. I just, I'm not going to pick against Kyler and the Cardinals when it comes to the Giants. They may have a good defense. They may be able to run the ball really well now. But we'll see how well that works against the Cardinals. Which I'm guessing it won't. Next one you got is Chiefs at the Dolphins. And, uh, you know, this one I'm going, I'm going with the Chiefs. The Dolphins are playing good football. They're actually a pretty solid football team. But I got to say, I'm going to go with the uh, Chiefs in that one. Next one you got, Titans-Jags. Now, the Titans have let me down a lot in the last two, three weeks. But that having been said, I'm still going to go with the Titans. The Jaguars are one of those teams. They never seem to go away. They're always in the game. They're always hanging in there. But I just don't see them beating the Titans. Now, the next one is a tough one. It was a tough one for me. You got the Bengals um, 
at, or the Cowboys at the Bengals. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Cowboys because both teams have a terrible um, defense. But the, uh, the Cowboys are uh, better offensively. They're better, much better ranked than offensively than the uh, Bengals. But the two of them are like 27th and 25th, something like that defensively. So, um, or maybe it was the other way around, not sure. But the Bengals, the point is the Bengals are terrible. They're d down near the bottom in everything. Dallas isn't exactly at the bottom in everything, so I'm going to go with that. Next one you got. Yes, you got the Titans at the, uh, is it the Titans? Or the Texans at the Bears. Now, in this one, if you know how I've been picking on the channel most of the time, and now that we've seen that, you know, the Bears are fraudulent. Um, we're going to go with the Texans in this one. I'm going to pick the Texans to beat the Bears. I don't even want to say it sets up a two-win, uh, uh, you know, a no-lose situation for me. Because even if the Bears win and make my pick wrong, my pick is wrong and their win isn't really going to mean much. So, but I'm still going to go with the Texans. I think the Texans have a better offense, certainly, than the Bears. And uh, defensively, they're not embarrassing. They may not be quite as good as the Bears' defensive ranking, but the Bears, really, their defense has given up a lot of points in the last two weeks. They've, uh, they've actually allowed like 60 or 70 points in the last two weeks, something like that. So it's not like their defense has really been coming to the rescue, because it hasn't. And now the next one you've got is Broncos at the Panthers, and in this one, I am going to go with the Panthers. Even though the Broncos, again, they're one of those bad teams, but they show resiliency. They always hang in their games. They uh, they put up a good battle, but I'm still I gotta go with the Panthers. I gotta believe the Panthers gonna win that one. Um, so uh, that having been said. We have, yes, the lock of the week. We have the uh, Jets at the Seahawks. I know the Seahawks got embarrassed last week against the Giants. I don't see them getting embarrassed two weeks in a row by two New York teams. Let's just put it that way. We're going to go with the uh, Seahawks on that one. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, get the Jets out of here. So, um, they're gone. They're out of there. And then you got the uh, next one is the Colts and the Raiders. Now, I picked the Raiders last week, and I got the pick right, only because they did some kind of miraculous pass behind the Jets' defense when the Jets were bringing the house on like what was essentially the last play of the game. And they scored that last second touchdown. But because of that, maybe because of that, I'm going to go with the Colts. The Colts have a highly ranked defense. They've got one of the best defenses in the NFL. And these guys barely beat a totally defeated team. So, um, to keep them totally defeated, but they almost lost. Um, the next one you got is the uh, football team at the 49ers football team we're gonna say football team at the 49ers and I am going with the 49ers on this one um, I like the 49ers they have been playing really good ball they don't have a good record on the year well is it really that bad but anyway, I'm not even sure what their record is but they haven't been the 49ers certainly of 2019 yet well I mean they have at times but they overall no but I'm still going to go with the 49ers. I know that the football team upset an undefeated Steelers last week, but really the undefeated Steelers, and I think I said this in a past video, were not as good as that record showed, and we saw it on the field. So the next one we got is the 
Saints at the Eagles, I think this is a no-brainer. You're going to go with the Saints. Now, we know that um, Jalen Hurts is going to be starting for the Eagles, but I don't think he's going to be quite enough. Even if he plays, like, out of his mind, I don't think it's going to be quite enough for them to beat the Saints. So, I mean, the Saints are just an all-around solid football team. You really can't say that about the Eagles, even though they're attempting to fix their quarterback situation, and even if that fix proves to be a pretty good fix. So, now you got the, um, the next one you got is the Falcons at the Chargers. Now, the Chargers have burned me quite a few times, and so have the Falcons when I picked against them. So I'm going to go with the Falcons in this one. I know that Herbert's been looking great. I know that he's like playing out of his mind and everything, but I just don't, I don't see it. I don't see the Chargers, with the way they've been playing lately, I don't see them being able to upset the Falcons, who seem to have gotten a new lease on life with their new head coach. And, um, and really, a lot of the games they lost early, they should have won anyway. They should have beaten the Bears. They should have beaten Dallas. Um, so really, they're better than their record shows, and they're playing even better than they did when um, Dan Quinn was their coach. So the next one we have is the Packers at the Lions. Yeah. We're going to go with the Pack on that one. <coughs> Get the Lions out. Yeah, I mean, what else has to be said? Rodgers is playing, he's having the best season of his life. And uh, even though the Packers' defense isn't um, known for being great and certainly is known for not being able to stop the run, the Lions um, just, they're a mess. So the next one we got, second to last, this is the Sunday night game, I believe. This is going to be... The Steelers at the Bills, what did I just say about the Steelers? That their record was deceptive, that they weren't really as good as their record showed, and guess what? We're going with the Bills because of that very fact. The Steelers are a solid football team. Don't get me wrong, I don't want anybody thinking, oh, he hates the Steelers as a football team. No, they're good. They're a good, solid football team, but they are not really an 11-1 and football. So, um, and the, the Bills, I don't know offhand what their record is, but whatever that record is, they're solidly that record. And now you got the Monday night game, and that's going to be the Ravens at the Browns. And in this one, I'm going, yes, reluctantly, I'm going with the Browns. I'm going to leave the Ravens behind. The Ravens came through for me last week when I needed them to. I was 9-5 and five going into the Tuesday game, and I really needed... The Ravens to come through for me and they did and I don't like Baker Mayfield and Eve but this year you got to give it you got to give the kudos where they're due Baker Mayfield this year is playing quite well and so are his Browns team or so is his Browns team so um, I let's see what I'm looking at this list what is my lock of the well we yeah, have my lock of the week was the Jets game because it always is um, and I guess my upset special do I have an upset special in here um, hmm. I don't know if really you could call any of these an upset I don't even know if the Browns over the Ravens at this point it could really be considered an upset because I don't think it could be. Um, let's see. No, there really is no upset special. The closest, I think, like I said, the closest one is the Browns over the Ravens. And really that isn't. So, uh, how did you guys like those picks? Now, that brain that you gave me, was it... Hans Delbrooks? No. Ah. Good. Uh, would you mind telling me whose brain I did put in? 
Then you will be angry. I will not be angry. Um, I told you I was going back to the helmets this week. We get, broke out the helmets. We even talked about the Army Navy game a little bit. A lot of football in here. Packed it in. Uh, so, what did you think of my picks? Let me know what your picks are in the uh, comments below. Leave me a thumbs up. Remember, love those thumbs up. They always help. And if you're watching this video because you like my picks, but you just don't subscribe to the channel, why not subscribe to the channel? You subscribe, you hit the bell, you get notified every time that a video of mine goes up. And if it happens to be a Wednesday, chances are it's my pick video that you'll want to see if that's why you're watching. And if you watch for, you know, and really, if you only watch for the um, picks videos, check out the other stuff. It's interesting. At least I think it is. I'm a little biased, but I think it is. So anyway, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.